are back, baby. Pendulum Vlogos are back. Yu-Gi-Oh Vlogs, ambulance for my opponents. Let's go, it is time. No one is safe today. My return back to Locals, I'm gonna take the best deck and obliterate everyone with it. Yo, bro, are you gonna Yu-Gi-Oh? Yo, you're trip, eh? That, that, that's me. Play pen, right? I do play pen. Pen worst deck, bro. What the heck? I feel you on duty book for high rated board, like low rated. Pen worst deck. Worst, worst deck. You whooped my ass on duty book. Yeah, man. Did it with ghost tricks, you know? He beat Sometimes me with like... ghost tricks. Yeah, bro. You're too old. You too old me with ghost tricks? Well, I'm gonna five on you today. Me versus you, right now. Okay. Give your deck on you. Yes, sir. You better bring ghost tricks because I'm on pendulums. I lied. I'm not playing pendulums. But let's go. Winner. Owns Game Nation. <laughs> oh, let's go. Deal. Uh, hey, uh, owner of Game Nation. So I'm just giving you the heads up that I'm going to be dueling someone who came in. Winner is the owner of Game Nation. Are you okay with this? Sure. Okay, sounds good. So when I own Game Nation, I'm going to sell all of these boxes and only... What's the pendulum structure deck called? People. Only Peebo. <laughs> Nothing else. It'll be a pendulum utopia. Let's go. Yeah. I'll defend the honor of pendulums with my life. Fucking <laughs> Fucking what? Oh. What'd you say? Mook. Mook? What's Mook? You know what it is. What's Mook? You. What's Mook mean? You mook. What's Mook you. mean? You. Mook me? You're my next victim. <laughs> I'm gonna whoop you after. You're gonna call the king of pendulums a Mook? If this is a different time, I would invade his house on horseback and defeat every one of his Yu Gi Oh cards. But in 2022, so we can't do that. Instead, I'm gonna challenge him to a duel. A Yu-Gi-Oh duel. So this video gets 1,000 likes. We're gonna take care of the pendulum hater first. And after take care of the pendulum hater, pendulum hater number two is up next. For the glory of Celine. Let's go. For the glory of Celine. Double Iris, Purple Poison, Wisdom Eye, Celestial, Harmonizing, all the pendulums alike, and the beautiful Trip Gaming playmats, and the whole pendulum fandom, and every 71,000 of you, I will defeat this duelist and not allow shame to come onto Pendulum's name. I will win for every Pendulum player, despite not playing Pendulums, because I have decided to play another deck, a deck that I believe is the best deck after Pendulum, and that is Elich Synchro. Not ugly Elich, not the Elich that makes you wanna puke and gouge your brains out when you look at these floodgate traps, but a better based version of Elich, and that is Elich with only seven traps. Let's go. 60 card Elich Synchro is the best deck in the game after Pendulums. Let's go. If you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, baby. Because this video, I'm going to deal with this Pendulum hater and send him back packing to the Shadow Realm. Or he could just go send get sent packing to www.trivergaming.com and buy a playmat instead. Because that works as well. Here, our Magician Souls gets Valor. Now, my hand is not really good, to be honest with you. But that's okay, because every hand is good when you're playing a deck that I create. Because my deck is the best deck. So, I am really thinking here. I'm like, I have so many options to go here. Goes Valor. And uh, Pendulum Hater number two is talking shit in the background. So, make sure to smash the like button. Because if this video does get a thousand likes, I will challenge him in the next video. He was roasting us, boys. So, here we're going to have the normal Ghost Mourner here. And I'm expecting... You, you notice earlier how he was holding the trap. Chalice, you see that? That shows me that he actually has another card. So I enter battle, attack that, set my, my other trap, go Scarlet, pass. This way, I got rid of everything on the field and I have advantage with follow-up with Elich. That's why Elich is so good in Punk Synchro. You literally let them, you just clear their board, man. You, you don't care if you can't do anything. You don't care because your follow-up is Elich cards and that's amazing. Here, I could have gone Needle Fiber to go shooting Riser, but I wanted to play really safe. I want to keep Needle Fiber as a potential interruption with... Uh, if all I have to do is make Dagda on my turn and I could bear and scythe him, I'd have to normal summon any monster and I'd have Dagda. So I wanted to save that setup where I go Needle Fiber Dagda. Uh, I end up not even I end up drawing a Wakaro, I believe, or Conquistador. Uh, I end up drawing whatever I don't set here, which. So I drew a Conquistador, and this is good value because I still have three interruptions. I have an Imperm in the middle, and I have Needle Fiber to act as a uh, TG Wonder Magician or a Shooting Riser follow up if I really want to. So this just gives me as much interruptions as possible. Here he opens some angered circle, which is fine. You know, that's all good. I want my opponent to have the best possible board here. It's not going to matter because we're playing the best deck after Pendulum. And look at my hand. My hand was literally garbage. Like, I did not open no Itali. I did not open Rite of Hermes here. I did not open any single nine ways to uh, Extender. We didn't open any crazy cards here. We did not open any of our eight ways to Foxy, to, to, to Zayamine. 
None of that. It, dude, we didn't open, like, Jet Synchron, no tuners. This is just classic Eldritch. And, and because you have access to all the tuners, you're so powerful with Eldritch Synchro that even when you don't open good, it's always good, if that makes sense. Like, the bad hands are four hand traps on a golden line. That's fine. That's, that's going to win you against every single meta deck. This is the best deck after Pan. Here we go, Shooting Riser to send right... Uh, it's an enchantress and this is gonna be game uh put everything attack into attack for game so we're gonna go on to game number two the pendulum fans out there don't worry i will defend our honor till death baby let's go also yo who's gonna who's down for some pendulum tattoos boys because i'm down to get some sick ass pendulum tats to represent pen gang so let's get it hey guys get some playmats man the more playmats you get the more pen tattoos we're gonna get I think in the next playmat release, uh, for the official spite release in, in a few weeks, I think, I think when we hit an X number of playmats, I think I'm going to get a pendulum tattoo. I'm actually debating getting uh, a playmat tattooed on my on my arm. That might be a little extra. But if you guys have any cool pendulum tattoos, let me know in the comments. I do want to get some very cool pendulum tattoos. Uh, my hand is absolutely absurd from what I remember. Goes Jaguar, Spinny, does some other random stuff. I looked at the top card in my hand because my, I was talking uh, with uh, one of my friends about my hand and how I'm going to obliterate him. He said, you know, I think I'm talking with Ryan here, how my hand is insane. I ended up drawing Rose Dragon as a six card to show him like, yo, uh, okay, like we're, we're showing that this hand can break any single board and the six card for turn was Rose Dragon. So with the Rose Dragon on top of the other five cards, I'm like, we, I, my hand is, bro, my hand is right over me here. Uh, Faithful Advent, no, sorry, Red Remy's here, Fog Itali, Red Remy's here, Souls, and Ro Red Rose Dragon, like, or something like that, I don't know, or uh, something like four of the best cards in my entire deck, and I had a uh, Gold Soaker in hand with the Nibiru or the Veiler on top of the Nibiru, like, this is the hands down the best hand I've ever seen in my life, I think I had Imperm Nibiru, I think that's what it was, so here, I'm, I'm gonna pop the set right away, this is a huge beauty of Chris Elland, uh, that you could use Golden Lord and Chris Elland to pop an interruption before you even get started, uh, my friend told me he's bigger biceps than me, so I just go prove him wrong real quick. Uh, go Magician Souls with Facts and Illusion of Chaos. Get lots of free value for Magician of Souls here. Like, this is the best hand in the history of the game, bro. So, I'm going to play as smart as possible because my opponent, the only card I lose here, uh, lose to here is Nibiru uh, Veiler. So, I'm going to go Magician Souls here. I'm debating for one or for two. I'm just debating how I want to do it. I go right over me here. I'm like, you know what? Let me draw a double Magician Souls first before I actually trigger Souls because obviously I'm going to have some free cards to discard here. I'm really debating how to do this. Like, there's so many ways to do this. I uh, just normal Rose Dragon. Uh, I think I could I could use Souls now or use it later. So I end up deciding to use Souls later. That could be a mistake. It could be an error. But my idea is that I'm going to Selene bring out the Souls anyways. And uh, I don't want to use Souls effect yet. I could use Souls a little later. I'm planning to get hit with Nibiru Veiler. Like, that's the only way I'm going to lose the game here. Uh, but this just... I, I saw Soul, a Herald. I'm just like, you know what? This just guarantees victory. So let's just go for the play that guarantees victory. Uh, so we're going to go Rose Dragon here. Rose Dragon effect. We'll get Basil. We have these two cards in our hand. Let's just guarantee victory. Like, there's no point to even draw with Souls here. It's just easy game. Uh, just literally just summon that. Special Griffin, balance, enter battle. He has anything. We could just delete everything back and win the duel. So that is a GG, my friends. Pen best deck. Honor restored. Let's go. Hater number two. Next video. You're up. It was a well-fought and valiant battle for my opponent. But at the end of the day, he learned that Pendulum is the best deck. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Top four is Let's go, baby. Elitch and Pen Gang.